Kia ora koutou and welcome back to another episode of Fano Wellbeing. This is my tiny Jay and I am Sarah and today we'll be giving you some tips on how to thrive and not just survive while you're at home with your Fano. Now, we know that it can be pretty full on having the whole fano at home for a long period of time. So what we're going to do is share a few ideas and tips on how you can create more flow and balance for your whole fano lifestyle. Like us, we know that there are a lot of parents that are now working from home and trying to balance their fano life as well. Trust us, we have three tamariki and we know just how full on it is. But don't worry if you haven't quite got there yet. It's still a new situation that we're all trying to adapt to. You should always start with your whānau first. So one thing that we like to do to create more balance in our whānau is to have a weekly whānau hui. That way you can plan out the weekly schedule of what mahi you're doing, what the tamariki are doing, so that you're all on the same page. Even putting the schedule on a visual calendar will help you and your whānau stay on top of things. We've also got a full episode on how we run our whānau hui that you can check out as well. So if you're still able to work from home, here are a few tips to help you stay positive and productive to get the most out of your days. So stick to your routine and treat your days as if you're going to work. Get up and shower, get dressed, don't just roll out of bed and stay in your pajamas all day. A simple routine will set you up for a good day. So firstly you want to create a separate working space, preferably away from your bedroom and your lounge to minimise any distractions. Also, block out your work times and whānau times so that you have a balanced day and don't get that parent guilt feeling like you're working too much. You could do breakfast, lunch and dinner as a whānau, then your spaces between can be time for mahi. Don't ever eat lunch at your desk, make an effort to go to a new space for lunch or even better yet, have it with the tamariki. It's important for you to give your mind and body a break away from work. So be sure to stand up and stretch every hour and also get away with the tamariki for a brisk walk during lunch. This will help burn their energy and ensure you get some movement in to prevent any aches and pains from sitting too long. A lot of tamariki are now doing their schoolwork from home, so like you, it'd be a good idea to put together a routine for them. Tamariki actually thrive on a routine because they know what to expect. But be mindful to be a bit more flexible because you don't want to create a stressful learning environment for them. So be sure to schedule in breaks for them so that they stay active and alert. But just remember, this is a huge change for our kids, not having the freedom to run around their school during lunch hour. So it's important for them to get their active daily movement in. The focus shouldn't just be about getting their mahi done, but more around ensuring they have a consistent routine so that they can transition back into school easier. Book in some fun whānau time. Give your whānau something to look forward to so that they know that the week isn't just consumed with mahi. Hi. You could schedule a fun Friday whānau night where you can do board games, movie night or even a talent quest. You could even do a daily whānau bike or walk. That's also a fun way to keep everyone active. You need to protect your children's most important asset, which is you. So make it a priority to block out time for yourself. Catch up on a show, read a book, do a daily workout to invest into your health, or call a friend and just do something that fills your cup. Constantly giving to others can drain a lot of energy. So if you're not prioritizing yourself, then you're not able to serve and give your best to your whānau. Happy parents equal happy tamariki. Now you need to remember that you guys are the leaders of your whare, so you need to prioritise your time together to maintain your relationship and not just be serving everybody else. You can do a simple day night at home, set up a platter and watch a movie together, have your own games night, work on a relationship vision and goals, or simply just chill out with a hot drink and have a cordial with no distractions or devices. What better time to work on growing together as a couple than being stuck at home with no distractions? 
ai marika ko te tumanako i kapo ai kui e te hiti whiri pai moto whanau. We hope that these ideas and tips bring more balance and flow for your whanau. Now if you have any ideas of your own, be sure to comment them below. Ko matunga kōrero mō tēnei wā. That is it from us today. Ka kite! Hei kona!